this is another video as you may know by now this channel is dedicated to those that's looking to get into shape looking to obtain a fitness goal maybe get into the fitness industry we're going to be bringing you interviews from other fitness trainers other fitness enthusiasts just to give you some lessons that we've learned share our experiences with you guys hopefully the content has been easy for you guys to digest if not leave a comment in the comment section below don't forget to like share subscribe click that notification button so you are getting content as it is being posted so without further ado let's get started cue the freaking music so we're going to change up things a little bit we're going to get into resistant band training for a while, I know we've been doing full body workouts. We're still gonna do more. There's loads of more full body workouts that we can do, but I'll figure it out, change it up for you guys so you're not feeling bored. I don't wanna bore you out, just give you some variety um, because you can use resistant bands on the go too as well. And when you're looking for resistant bands, they come in many different shapes, sizes, colors. Typically, as you can see my rainbow of colors, so typically, the yellow is the lighter, then you're gonna go to green, and then blue, and I, I have two levels of blue, so this blue is lighter than this blue, so the lighter part of blue is lighter, and then the darker blue is a little bit more resistant, and then you have red being the strongest resistant, and sometimes you may even have like a black, so typically black is the strongest resistant, and then you have red, and then you work your way down to the lighter colors, um, these could be found online, you can Google them. Definitely shop on Amazon. I do all of my shopping there too as well, where you can get these for the low low. But if it's not cheap on Amazon, just Google um, resistant bands as a whole and you'll see the different levels of resistant bands. So you guys are familiar with resistant bands and we can get into resistant band training. So let's get into the workout. What just happened? Call me the freaking rubber band man. No, these are other different types of rubber bands that you can use, I'm sorry, resistant bands that you can use for working out. You have your power band, so that's the name of these resistant bands. Then you have your mini rubber bands. And these are typically used like for the inner thighs, for getting like good leg workouts. Um, you can do other workouts with them, which we'll get to with these. Then you have your fabric bands so these are elastic fabric bands and then you have your two resistant bands so as you can see there's different types and shapes of bands that you can utilize for your workouts when it comes to resistance and we'll give you some inside tips on how to use those different bands to get you prepared for variety when it comes to your freaking workout so now that we got that out of the way let's get to the workout before we start off working out, for you guys that have been watching the channel, you should know this by now. What do we start with? If you guessed it and you said stretching, you are correct. So stretching, then we get into a warm up, which is two to five minutes. If five minutes is boring you, you can improve that, increase it to seven minutes. After the warm up, that gets you really prepared and raise your heart rate so you can be prepared for the workout. So let's get into the workout. All right guys, the first exercise up will be standing bicep curls. Um, with this exercise, you're pulling with your arms. And as you're pulling up, you're bringing your, your elbows back. You're not pulling forward. So get a good rhythm going and you've got this.
All right, guys, the next exercise up will be bent over rear tricep kickbacks. So this is gonna place emphasis, of course, on your triceps. And when you're pulling back, you're pulling with your triceps. Um, it's important to note when you're bending over to keep a flat back, basically a 90 degree angle. Um, do not round your back and do not jerk the movement. So get a good rhythm going and you've got this. guys the next exercise up will be crunches um, this is a core exercise it is important to note when you're doing this exercise to keep your back flat on the ground and keep your feet flat on the ground also do not pull from your neck you do not want to strain your neck um, the furthest you need to go with this exercise is raising your shoulder blades off the ground so as long as your shoulder blades are off the ground you are good to go you're pulling from your core, so get a good rhythm going, breathe, and you've got this.
right, guys, the next exercise up will be squats. Um, for this movement, you want to keep your core tight and do not round your back. Um, it's important to note when you're doing this exercise, do not bring your knees in front of your toes. And again, do not arch your back. So you want to keep your core tight and look up as you're squatting. A key note here, um, something that's gonna really help you guys with your squats is once you're squatting um, and you're pressing up, you want to press up with your heels. So you're basically pushing into the ground with your heels and that's gonna force you to um, press with your legs and keep your head up. So that's gonna keep your body in line. So get a good rhythm going and you've got this. Alright guys, the next exercise up will be alternating rear leg kickbacks. Um, this is going to place focus on your butt and your hamstrings. Um, it's important to note when you're doing this exercise to keep your back flat. And when you're kicking up, you're basically kicking back and up and you're squeezing your butt at the top of the movement. So get a good rhythm going and you've got this.
All right, guys, the next exercise up will be flat bench press. Um, this is going to be a chest exercise. Um, it's important to note to keep your back flat on the bench and keep your feet flat on the floor as well. Um, this may this exercise may require you to arch your back um, if it starts to get intense, but I recommend to watch a few more um, videos of me doing chest so you can see the perfect way to arch your back without um, harming your back or injuring your back. So for now, just keep your back flat, keep a good rhythm going, and you've got this. All right, guys, the next exercise will be alternating lat pull down. So this is gonna place focus on your back. Um, so the top portion of your back, typically the outer portion of your back on the left and right, that is considered your lats. So if you hear the term lats, that's what that means. Um, when you're doing this exercise, it's important to note to pull from your back and not from your arm. So it, this may require a lot of focus. Again, pull from your back and not from your arm. Get a good rhythm going and you've got this. So we are now at the end of the workout. After you're done with the workout, let's get into what? Stretching. 
Let's get into cool down. Let's get into utilizing the foam roller to relieve that lactic acid that's built up in the muscle. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that workout. I include a lot of different variety for you guys. I know resistance bands may be new to some of you guys, but for some of you guys that's already using resistance bands, this may give you some variety in your workout. I forgot to mention that you can also pair up the different resistance bands to increase the resistance um, that you have for the different workouts that you're doing. And then going back to your cool down sessions, um, this is just to lower your heart rate back to like its normal rhythm. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that workout. I planned it out specifically for you guys to give you, like I say, some variety. And let's get into the quote of the day because we cannot leave without giving you a motivational um, phrase of the day. And that quote of the day is, the world as we have created it is a process of our thinking. So tell me what that means to you guys. Think about that for a second. But what I want you guys to get out of it is, if you create all of these imaginary, like I can't do this, or this is too hard, then that's basically what you're gonna give out to the world, and then that's what the world is gonna give back to you. So put some positive energy on there, put some positive thinking, you can do this. I've given you enough, what I believe, I've given you enough um, knowledge, experiences, um, to get you over the hump and, and get you some foundation started in, when it comes to fitness so that you can start off on the right track and reaching your fitness goals. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click that notification button so you guys are getting content as it is being posted and it will be a good indicator that you like the content or you came back to see me, one or the other. No, but yes, don't forget to do that. Um, until next time, I'll see you on the fit side. Come on, Kevin, get those bands. Use your arm, buddy. There you go. You got it. That's pretty much the right move. Come on, grab it. You got it. Pull down on it, Kevin. <laughs> pull, pull, concentrate. You got this. Come Use on, Carol. Get it. Get it. <laughs> Come on, man. Intro. Let's go. What is going on, world? Welcome back to another video. <laughs> He's like, that was unnecessary. Why are you barking? You don't know nothing about this. You don't know what we're doing.